April the 5th, 1815. A peaceful evening was disrupted by thunderous detonation sounds throughout the Southeast Asia. These explosive sounds could be heard almost 2,600 kilometers from the source of sound. The next morning, on April 6th, the sky turned dark and ashes began to fall. The sounds receded after a few days, but the ashes remained until the next few months. That unfortunate month of April would go on to cause death of more than 70,000 people in Southeast Asia. Mount Tambora is an active volcano located on the Sambawa Island in the Sunda group of islands in Indonesia. It was one of the tallest peaks in Indonesia. The volcanic eruption was the largest volcanic eruption in centuries and is still the largest and deadliest eruption in modern era. The eruption was a 7 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, also known as VEI. Just like a Richter scale is used to denote the magnitude of earthquakes, a VEI denotes the magnitude of a volcanic explosion. VEI associated with an eruption is dependent on how much volcanic material is thrown out, to what height and how long the eruption lasts. Mount Tambora itself ejected 100 trillion litres of lava weighing at around 140 billion tons and spread to a distance of about 20 kilometers from the summit. Ashes from the eruption went as far as 1,300 kilometers away. An area of 600 kilometers around the mountain didn't see sunlight for two days. The explosion ceased on 15th July, more than four months after the first explosion. All the flames and aftershocks were still being reported till the August of 1819, four years after the event. The height of the mountain had significantly reduced. Before the eruption, the mountain stood at 4,300 meters from the sea level. After the eruption, the elevation of the mountain reduced by 33% to 2,851 meters. A crater-like sinkhole formed after the eruption, measuring across 6 to 7 kilometers in diameter and 700 meters in depth. But the disaster was far from over. Various tsunamis ranging from 2 meters to 4 meters struck various islands in Indonesian islands on 10th April. Total deaths from the tsunamis alone was around 4,600. Toxic gases also were pumped into the atmosphere, including sulfur, that caused severe lung infections. Volcanic ash was over 100 centimeters deep within 75 kilometers of the eruption, while areas within a 500 kilometers radius saw a 5 centimeters ash fall. The ash burned and smothered crops, creating an immediate shortage of food. The ejection of these gases, especially hydrogen chloride, caused the precipitation to be extremely acidic, killing much of the crops that survived or were rebudding during the spring. The food shortages were compounded by the Napoleonic Wars, floods, and cholera. It is estimated that around 10,000 deaths were a direct result of lava flows. The starvation, famine, and diseases that struck as an aftermath significantly increased the death toll. On Zimbabwe, around 18,000 people died of starvation and diseases. 10,000 on Lomdog died of the same cause. It is estimated that 50,000 people died of indirect effects of the eruption, but some sources claim of total deaths being an upward to 88,000 to 100,000. And then there was the global meltdown. The 1815 eruption released sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere, causing a global climate anomaly. In the spring and summer of 1815, a persistent dry fog was observed in the northeastern United States. The fog reddened and dimmed the sunlight. Neither wind nor rainfall dispersed the fog. In summer 1816, countries in the northern hemisphere suffered extreme weather conditions, dubbed the year without a summer. Average global temperatures decreased by about 0.4 to 0.7 degrees Celsius enough to cause significant agricultural problems around the globe. 1816 was the second coldest year in the Northern Hemisphere, 
since around year 1400 and the year 1810s are the coldest decade on record. The climate change due to the eruption caused typhus epidemics in the southeast Europe and along the eastern Mediterranean Sea between 1816 and 1819. The climate changes disrupted the Indian monsoons, caused three failed harvests and famine, and contributed to the spread of a new strain of cholera that originated in Bengal in 1816. A large amount of livestock perished in New England during the winter of 1816. Cold temperatures and heavy rains resulted in failed harvests in Britain and Ireland. Families in Wales travel long distances as refugees, begging for food. Famine was prevalent in North and Southwest Ireland following the failure of wheat, oat and potato harvest. The crisis was severe in Germany, where food prices rose sharply and demonstrations in front of grain markets and bakeries, followed by riots, arson and looting, took place in many European cities. No doubt, it was the worst and the deadliest volcanic eruption in the world, and a lot was lost due to that ill-fated summer. The eruption obliterated all the population on Sumbawa Island, and with it the language of the Tambora people was lost. Today, Mount Tambora is still an active volcano. An event as significant as the 1815 eruption has the potential to impact about 8 million people. Although there has been no significant increase in the seismic activity since the 1880 eruption. Monitoring is continuously performed around Mount Tambora because no one knows if the mountain may blow up again.